Right now, there isn't a way to create custom grids or guides inside Adobe Express, but I found a way that you can create these custom grids or guides inside Adobe Express, similar to the guides that we're able to use in InDesign. So let me show you and we'll jump on Adobe Express and get started. Right now, there isn't an exact way inside Adobe Express to create your own grids, kind of like how we can do in InDesign, but there is a workaround that you can do using grids inside Adobe Express. So I have a blank page here. It's an eight and a half by 11, and we're gonna go to grids on the far left. I'm going to scroll to the very bottom where I see some grids that I wanna use. I'm gonna click on that. Now it's gonna add this to my page. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to size it to fit almost all the way over here. And what I wanna do is I'm going to bring this to the middle. So once I see that little guide inside Adobe Express that indicates it's in the middle, I'm gonna drag this over here. Now I wanna adjust my padding. I wanna give this about 60 so that it's not going to the very edge of the page. And let's lower the spacing between each one to, let's say, let's try 35. So it's a little tighter, but we can always adjust this later. Now what you wanna do is I'm going to extend this just a little bit more past the middle. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag this over and you can use your keyboard shortcuts to duplicate this or right click and click on duplicate. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that this looks about right. Now you can see the spacing in between is not exactly the same, so I can go in and adjust it slightly so so that it looks like it's about the same. It's good for now. Next, what you can do is you can select both of these, group them, and make them as an opacity, and you can give it about 25%. You can keep this opacity like you have it here, or you can start to modify each cell to adjust your grid. So this is kind of our workaround to start to make our own grid as we modify some of this content. And now you can start creating these customized grids inside Adobe Express then you can go in and double click on each cell and add an image, add a color, whatever you feel that you need to do. However, there's other options that you can do. So I've experimented with a few different grids and let's take a look at a, a couple other options. We have this option over here where I actually took another grid at the very top and I had to flip it over because the option that we had for that grid didn't really have that long extended bar at the top, which is what I wanted. So if you're gonna create like a newsletter of some sort, this is a great option. And I'll give you guys a link so that you can download this and use this to make it easier for you. So what we can do now is instead of adding content to here, we can actually use this as a grid. So I've grouped the content. Now I'm going to lock this just because I don't want this to move. And let's say we're going to pull some of our content from a blog. So I'm gonna go to my blog and I wanna add a title. So I'm gonna copy that and we're gonna go over here to the text, add that title, okay, we'll adjust this in a second. And now let's add some text. Once I have some of my text placed in, I'm going to make sure I switch to a line left. And now you can start to use these grids as your structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my text over here. And as you see, my text is overflowing and that's okay because we have a solution. I'm gonna make the text a little bit smaller. Again, always being conscious of where this is gonna be outputted since we would potentially print this. It's okay to use 11 point size. And now what I wanna do is use text flow. When you click on text flow, it's going to allow you to add another text box on that same size. Now you see that it added that same exact text box. And now what I can do is I'm going to decrease the size of this and it's starting to bring my text over onto the other text box. Now, what I started doing is I made a few more modifications. I bolded my title. I made it a little larger and then I still have my text flow over here, but now I have three sections of my text flow. So in the first one, I kind of made it as an intro paragraph and I just increased the size and give it slight demi bold font. Then I have the rest of my text flowing over and I added a screenshot or one of the images from my blog. As I'm scrolling over here, you can see that the text is overflowing and this is an indicator because you see that red line. So I'm gonna click on that plus icon. It's gonna bring me another text flow box where I have the rest of my text. And now what you can do is you can extend this. So you're using the grid to help you build your magazine or your layout that you're using 
heading and you can start modifying that. Now I can just add a title for this section and I'm gonna add in another image. So let's just go ahead and upload that image. Now my image is added in and then I'm just going to size this so that it fits within that size of that grid that we've created. You can now go in and delete this grid. And this is how you can make your own customized grids inside Adobe Express. Hey, did you find this video helpful? Well, make sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell so that you can know next time I post a new video. Of course, if this was even more valuable to you, share it with your friends or other business owners that need to hear this message. I will see you next time. Hasta la próxima.